at the yard of Sharon Cotson. And uh, Sharon Cotson Racing will be looking forward to a busy afternoon on Friday. They get underway in race one with the two runners, Nairobi, who really enjoys this type of trip on Polly, and More Than a Dream, who's been thereabouts in all three local runs so far. Morning, Nadine. Um, Nairobi, she's much better on the poly 1300 metres, the 1200 is just a little bit too quick for her, um, so expecting a much better run from her. More than a dream, she's got the draw, I think she was very unlucky last time, so much better is expected from her. Another two runners in race two give us a smile who will be making his local debut or fair KwaZulu-Natal form and fly like a falcon who's back off a four month break. He's give us a spell. He's new to the yard. He's got the draw and it's his first run on the poly. Um, but in saying that, he has got very consistent uh, Natal form. So hopefully we can see a good run from him. Um, fly like a falcon. We gave her some time off just to strengthen up and mature. She was very immature and quite physically weak. Um, it is her first run back. We've added the cheek pieces on to see if it helps her concentrate. She tends to lose concentration. Yeah. So a better run expected from her as well. We move to race three and here we'll see Sunlit from Heaven. Now she posted a very respectable local debut last time out and she had been up against male opposition. Yes, um, it is a second run on the poly. So, you know, I think that uh, we can definitely expect a better run from her and hopefully she can be in the shake-up. In race four, the charioteer. Now he ran against a lot stronger last time out and it is a form line that's holding up well. He's been very consistent. He enjoys the 1900 metres on the poly. Um, you know, last time things didn't quite pan out his way, but much better expected from him and expecting a good run. In race five, Rosa Dorada will be down in class. Definitely down in class and she's got a draw. So I think it's a very nice com race for her and I think she's going to be very competitive. In the Racehorse Owners Association, Phillies Guineas Plate, that is race six, we'll see a global rush and she's starting to find her feet. Yes, um, she's a, uh, we're taking a big chance here. She's a little bit out of the way, you know, with the others. But in saying that, it is against Phillies and it is against her own age. So, you know, you've got to take a chance. It's a small field and it'll be interesting to see what we can do. And in race seven, closing for the yard, Miss Rose, speedy, speedy girl. And she loves the 1,000 metre trip. That she definitely does. She's a 1,000 metre poly specialist. Well, she's a 950 metre poly specialist, but uh, in saying that, her last run back was a cracking run and uh, hopefully, you know, she's been very consistent, so hopefully she can finish in the money again. Thanks very much to Sharon for the comments.